Hey everybody, so this is my first good go at trying to get YouTube going. And to do that, one of my weekly episodes is Gear Talk. So let's talk about what the heck this is. This is the MXR Talk Box. It has seen some battles, as you can see. It's been on tour with me for the last five years through Asia. And it is a very useful, cool thing. It sounds kind of like a wah pedal, but it's not a wah pedal. And you basically put this tube that connects into this into your mouth. And from the, your guitar goes into the input and then goes out into the amp. This is how a modern one works. And inside this is a driver, otherwise known as a speaker. And instead of the signal going into your amp to make your guitar sound come out, your guitar sound comes out through this little speaker and therefore through the little tube. And then you move your mouth, wow, 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 and it makes an interesting sound. It's got a volume tone gain across the top, which is pretty neat. I don't find the tone really does that much. I don't find the gain really does that much past, past you know, 12 o'clock. And volume, it does, it's a little bit dynamic. It does certainly does get loud if you crank it. And I think it's a, it's a rad thing, man. It was invented by Alvino Ray in 1939, primarily as a movie effect for The Wizard of Oz. And then many, many years later, Bob Heil, which makes, you know, Heil products, made the first talk box for music for Peter Frampton. At least that was the first popular guy. Maybe some other dude did it. So that's a little thing about the talk box. And like this one's connected by, by a nine volt. A lot of the old ones, they didn't have this simple thing where you could just put it in the pedal chain. You had to have a separate amp and then you had to have an AB switch to go from your amp to the old Heil talk box thing. And that's what I used to have in the early 2000s. So I would have to bring in at least two fucking amps into each gig I did and just to have the talk box for 30 seconds. But it was worth it, and I highly recommend checking this out. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so now I got the tube into the talk box. The talk box is plugged into my Focusrite, which is plugged into my laptop running Logic Pro X. Talk box is disengaged, playing my Les Paul. And it just sounds like a normal guitar, heard it a million times before. Right. And now I put in the talk box, I put the tube in my mouth, and engage the talk box. Oh, yeah, big man. Now, I don't actually have a microphone stand with me right now, so this is actually quite difficult to do. Um, I'm on the road in, uh, in Pattaya, Thailand, and, um, and I don't have all my shit. But there's different ways to use the talk box, right? One is just how it demonstrated. You move your mouth um, as if you were talking, and the guitar sound talks for you, kind of like you have a kind of like you have throat cancer, right? Um, you would put this up to the microphone that you're singing through, and then that will get picked up, and then that's how everyone hears the shit, right? The other way to do it is, is you kind of do a solo. I don't how, know how I'm going to fucking do this without without a mic, uh, mic stand, but I'll do my best right here. And basically, you hold it up to here, and you go. Um, and the and the sounds that are mostly dominant are like yes and o's and yows, right? Anything with some vowels on the end of it is going to make it sound pretty effing cool. So that is roughly what the talk box does. Um, 
you know, you know, California knows how to party, you know, all that shit. That's talk box. Sometimes in a movie, you hear some weird kind of sound. That's a talk box. You listen to a record and it sounds like a wah, but it's not quite a wah. Chances are it's a talk box. The talk box is the shit. So I'm, I hope you learned something today or at least enjoyed wasting five minutes of your time. And I hope that you could please subscribe, like, comment, share the video if you want. And I'm going to continue to try to make as many of these as possible to have something released at least three to five times a week. So thank you very much. Have a great day.